Saki World. Welcome to Saki World. This is Corey. Today I'm in my hometown of Hesperia, California, and I'm showing you the rare. Could it happen? I don't know how it can happen, but in our city, we have not one, but two Chucky from the movie Child's Play barbershops, okay? It's two things that have nothing to do with each other. A horror film character and men's barbershops. But we have two in my city. I don't know if there's a connection. I've theorized that maybe an employee from the first Chucky themed barbershop went rogue and started their own separate Chucky themed barbershop. But I can't know. I, I need to do some more research and maybe I'll find out. But as of now, I only know that there's two that exist. Here is the first one. It's just simply called Chucky's Barbershop. And it's got the Chucky face. And it's got the traditional barbershop striped pole. And, you know, they have haircuts for $12. And they have Chucky. And I just think that's great. The front of the store looks... Just like any other barbershop, there's haircut pictures, but then on the door we have Chucky. And he's on the sign. He's also up there on the now open. I mean, I, I wonder if maybe they dress like Chucky while they're cutting your hair, I don't know. I'd have to go in, it is open, but I cut my own hair. The second Chucky themed barbershop isn't called Chucky's though. This one is called something Supercuts. Uh, not Supercuts because that's a chain, but it's this one's interesting because it definitely has a Chucky on the sign. I've seen it many times. And it also has a symbol of a superhero and I'm not gonna spoil it for you you're gonna have to wait and see it's a superhero symbol I, I kind of give it away already but you'll see here we are on the corner of 4th and Main Street and this is the other one and you can see barbershop and you can see right there that is Chucky oh and I've never noticed he is holding some clippers like hair cutting clippers and he has a rather stylish mohawk oh he's also holding a straight razor for shaves for close shaves I would not trust him with those instruments but there he is and this one is called real super fades so and it's got the superman symbol for the s now i love chucky and superman together in the same sign how could you not and it's interesting because this store has very similar haircut um photos on the windows so they might be connected somehow, but you would think that if you were opening a barbershop and you liked Chucky, you might already know about one in the neighborhood that's themed by Chucky. But hey, you might say, heck it, I'm gonna do, do, do it anyway. An interesting thing about this building is this building is really old. It's been here a long time in Hesperia, and I remember the good old days when this was a hot dog stand. They used to serve hot dogs here. And it's been quite a few other things, but I do remember back in the 80s, it was a hot dog stand. Now, you can get your hair cut. But, 
I thought that was interesting. Two barbershops, one city, both Chucky themed. Is Chucky on this side too? I want to see if he's on this side. No, it just says barbershop, no Chucky. But I'm not sure if either of these businesses have their own merchandise, but I think they would do very well. I would buy a Chucky Barbershop t-shirt any day. Chucky's Barbershop is located at 17130 Unit C between G and E Avenue on Main Street on the north side of Main. And Real Super Fades is located on the corner of 4th and Main Street just west of the Main Street Bridge. If you need a haircut and you like Chucky, both of these places are meant for you. So check them out. Something very interesting going on with all these seagulls. They are like everywhere. They're circling, flying, all congregating and then getting scared of cars and then it's like they're having a big party or something they go way up and in... way up into the sky they're enjoying something on the ground over there and taking off again Whoa! It's amazing how birds follow each other in the same pattern. Well, I guess some of them are splitting off. I'm gonna drive a little closer I'm in my vehicle. They're probably gonna get scared. Whoa! It's like food. Wow, I gotta roll down my window so you can hear this. Well, I just washed my car. It's probably not a, it's probably not a good idea. They're probably gonna poop all over me. Wow, they're really cool. Maybe someone left them some food here. It's these big piles of food. I am currently in downtown Victorville. Yeah, they're definitely pecking on this. They're definitely going for this food right here. No, nah, I'm just filming this. I'm just, I thought it was amazing. Oh, no, I wouldn't kill them. I thought it was really cool how they were flying around in a circle. Yeah. It looks like they got some food. Yeah. Yeah, they come up here every year. They're seagulls, right? Yeah, and they come up from the beach up here because of the lakes. There's a lot of lakes up here. Yeah, I think it's amazing. Oh, they try to they try to drive their car and hit them. Purposely. Oh, that's terrible. I'd never do that. Yeah, it's, oh, you can't believe how many people do that. It's horrible. They take their wings off and everything. Yeah, that's. So a lady pulled up to me and she was concerned that I was gonna try to kill the seagulls, and I assured her I wasn't here to do that. She said that a lot of people um, drive drive at them at high speeds and, and trying to intentionally hit them and she said that's why they are very nervous and they seem to land and eat the food that someone left there for them and then take off again um, because I think because my car was near they thought maybe I was gonna try to ram them so they 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 come down they get some food and then they get nervous and they and they fly away again but 
I assured her that I was not going to do that and she was a nice lady she said they the seagulls come in from the beach and they do a visit in these parts of the desert and then they go home so that was pretty interesting seagulls in the desert the seagulls did get me they got me pretty good on this left fender <laughs> This was a rather short video, but I wanted to keep it short and just show those two barber shops. If you enjoy this kind of entertainment, please give me a follow and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.